Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Real True Street Crime. I want to go into a story today, but I want to start it off first by saying this. I hate to mess anybody's name up because the fat man used to always say, just spell my name right. So I'm going to give it one more try, never attempting to mess up anybody's name. Demetrius Flannery. But from this day forward, I will call him Big Meech of BMF. So let me go into the day's story for all of you. I'm like Red Fox in that movie Harlem Night. Sugar, I love that sweet shit. I love to see niggas on the track beating cases, making millions of dollars, making these white folks and feds look foolish. I love to see brothers on the track doing that. I'm a fan of Big Meech's. And let me explain to you what I mean. I'm a fan of Big Meech's. I ran behind Jazzy Faye, his bodyguard, knew Big Meech. He was Jazzy Faye's bodyguard. And he is the man I used to use to get work from Big Meech. Always hairline. He had pretty decent hairline. I caught from Big Meech for maybe six months before they moved to Atlanta. Jazzy Faye and them used to stay out in Northland in big apartment buildings way up right across from Northland. And this is where the bodyguard would have me come and hook up with him. Understand this. Jazzy Faye, I have never bought anything from him. Do not mistake that. Nothing. It was his bodyguard, chauffeur, slash butler. Okay? Understand this. Let's not get anything twisted here today. Now, I'm copping through his butler from Big Meech. They moved to Atlanta now. I'm going to Atlanta because the dope was good for Big Meech. He was legit. I'm going to Atlanta to keep getting dope from the bodyguard who's getting it from Big Meech. So I go down to Atlanta one weekend to catch up with him. They are all out at a music producer's house in Atlanta. Let me tell you about this music producer's house in Atlanta. You used to have to take the elevator from the kitchen to get up to the rest of the mansion. He had a bad motherfucker out there in Atlanta. He was a music producer at the time, and he had a dog-ass mansion. Snoop Dogg used to be at it as well. Understand that Snoop Dogg used to be at this house, at this record producer out in Atlanta where you had to take the elevator up to the kitchen, then it introduced you to the rest of the mansion. It was beautiful. But understand this. They used to love to drink Remy Martin VSOP, and they used to mix it with ginger ale in Atlanta at this time. That was their drink. They loved that Remy Martin VSOP and ginger ale is how they was drinking it. Understand this. I go to Atlanta to catch up to the bodyguard to get the work from Big Meech. Top grade hair run, best thing out on the street going at that time. So understand this, I am truly a fan of Big Meech's. I ran his bag, getting it from the chauffeur for six months before they left Detroit, and I continued to run out to Atlanta to get it from the chauffeur after they left Detroit. So understand, Big Meech was truly a legend. No one can ever take that from him. The only points I ever made, I like to see them legends beating them cases, man. Put them millions to work. You got $50 million. Man, go get you some badass attorneys and put it on the feds. That's the only thing I'm ever saying about it. That's all I'm saying. I was a fan of Big Meech. Ran behind him from Detroit to Atlanta to get to work because it truly was classic at the time, the best thing out going. Understand that. Big Meech was truly a legend, BMF. And from Eddie Jackson to Big Meech, because every package I ever got from him was classic. Heads up, truly hope you make it out in Hollywood to be a big success, and you don't have to fuck with the game no more. That's my wish for Big Meech, Southwest T, all of them that put their time in. When you do 15 and 20 years in federal penitentiary, you put your time in, baby.
Trust me, you put some hard time in. So the best wishes from Eddie Jackson Jr. to Southwest T, Big Meech, Big Meech Son, the whole crew. Because everything I ever got from y'all was classic, and I wish the best for you all. No player hating here from Eddie Jackson. This is real true street crime. Why lie when the real true street crime will do? Motivate, don't hate. Motivate, baby, don't hate. And remember this. Go over there and check out Brittany Simmons Simmons Law, a fine young attorney out there scorching them, corporate, wheels, deeds, divorces, title disputes on houses, anything corporate, check her out. She will definitely help you out. Simmons Law. This is Real True Street Crime. Subscribe, share, and like. Check out Jelani's Tape of Taste and Table, a fine young chef, having 420 style, regular style. Top grade chef, straight out of Baker's College, Baker's Culinary College finest, with all the medals around his neck to prove the championship cooking contest wins. Jelani's Tasting Table. Move on over to Top Tier Cuts 313, Super Kid for the weekend. Top Tier Cuts 313, Super Kid, and it is the weekend. Check out Matt Calf and Clarence. Loud delivery. Two brothers out of Highland Park. Awful loud. I can smell them all the way over here. Straight out of Highland Park, Michigan. Loud delivery. Get your gummy bears, your 420 food, anything you like, even including the loud. I can smell them all the way over here. Check out Coney Island Chronicles. Coney Island Chronicles is Coney Island Tony. And we can't forget the flagship following it up. Big Boss Film, Courtney Brown Jr. Don't forget to check out Motown Mafia podcast on Spotify. And I don't like to hold you long. So let me leave you with this. Go over there and check out Crime Town on Motown Mafia, Spotify. And hear the fat man say, let me leave you one more little one from the fat man before I go from his travels down under. I come from a land down under, Australia. The fat man was in Australia doing his thing and checking out everything. And he had a kangaroo burger over there in Australia. They sell kangaroo burgers. And he ate the kangaroo burger. He said it was awful delicious. He loved it. But after he got through eating it, he said it tasted exactly like McDonald's is mixing their hamburger meat with kangaroo meat because it had such a familiar taste to the kangaroo burger he ate over in Australia down under, baby. I told you, the fat man is well traveled all over this world, all continents. Fat man in touch. And coming from Australia to all of you down under, if you ever been there and had a kangaroo burger with that kangaroo meat, did it taste anything like a quarter pound of Big Mac? Anything familiar that you may have tasted from McDonald's? So I'm just leaving you one from the fat man coming from Australia eating kangaroo burgers, baby. Have you ever had a kangaroo burger? This is Real True Street Crime, leaving you on this one. Subscribe, share, and like. And why lie when the real true street crime will do? Motivate, don't hate. Go over there and check Crime Town out. Kingpin's kids in here, Ryan Gear Valley, tell you the story for himself. And hear what he tell you about the fat man, the magic fat man, Mr. President. Eddie Jackson. As he said to Ryan Gill Valley, I'm going to be saying a lot of you all. Ha!